Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. This is Selenium Web Automation Tutorial for Beginners and this is the part 1. In the part 1 of this tutorial, we are going to download Selenium and then we will install it and we will set up inside the Eclipse. Also we will see how to use Chrome driver to do Chrome browser automation. There are some prerequisites for this session. First, you must have Java installed on your system. Please check if this is not installed. So please install it. You can watch any tutorial for the Java installation. And the second important thing is the Eclipse IDE. You need one Eclipse IDE. Okay. You can ensure the Java installation through the command prompt. Just type Java hyphen version and then you will see uh, this information right now this is java 1.8 installed on my machine the second thing is eclipse ide you need one eclipse ide so please download and install it the third one we have to download selenium jar and there are some dependent jar as well so all those will be downloaded once so this is the download link for the selenium jar files so we will do some practical session and we will do lots of activities okay so the step one is first we will download the jar files and the supporting jars and uh, all this going to be a practical session now the objective is we have to write one script this is going to be our first automation script inside the selenium and we will open a Chrome browser and we will navigate to a URL. Now this is our objective. Under this objective, we will perform some action item which is mentioned below. So guys, one of the important note to work with the Chrome browser, we need Chrome web driver to open a browser inside the Selenium. And we have to download an executable file which will be specific to browser. Suppose you want to work with the Internet Explorer, then you need to download the Internet Explorer.exe file. But in this current session, we are going to use Chrome. So we have to download Chrome.exe. And these are the steps mentioned. So we will perform every step one by one to avoid the confusion. First, we need to download some Selenium jar files and additional jar files from this URL. This URL given in the description so you guys can check. So this is the official download page and uh, we have a uh, lots of information and other exes available but we have to download the right one we are looking for the Java. Okay so this is the right place so on the right hand side you can see there's a download link click on it and you will see one zip file will be downloaded now guys uh, put this jar file somewhere at the safe place on your system to avoid unintentional deletion of this because you are going to work with it so please extract it and then you will see some files inside it there is one uh, client combined and client combined this uh, source jar and the second one is client combined three one four one point five nine also we have one lib folder this has the other dependents supporting jar files now the first task is completed we have downloaded jar files okay now in next uh, step I will show you what we have to do as I have told you we are going to use the Chrome browser to navigate a website URL so we need to download the chrome driver exe okay now according to this step first we will create a java project and then we will import the downloaded selenium jar files we have just downloaded two minutes back now i am opening my eclipse ide here we go this is the eclipse ide this is ready now we have to create a simple java project inside it to write a selenium script go to the file menu go to the new and then click here on the project 
and you will see new project wizard window and here we have to select the first one Java project click next okay this is the new Java project window so we have to give a name to our project so this is going to be our first selenium script project so I'm giving such kind of name my first selenium script after that you can see the default selection which is uh, added Java SE 1.8 which is execution environment also we have a default specific uh, JRE if you have uh, multiple JREs or so you can select but I would suggest please uh, select the third one this is going to use the default JRE which is detected by the Eclipse now click on the next now at this place uh, project settings do nothing click finish and this will show you a message click on open perspective okay look for here so in the package explorer you will see the project is created and uh, the JRE library is associated also we have one uh, SRC folder but nothing inside it we have to create a simple class file inside it okay before going to do that first we will add the downloaded jar files to this project now select the project do the right click and go to the bottoms and uh, click on this properties option and you will see the properties window and the left hand side have some links so click here on this Java build path and uh, now you have to go to the libraries tab under this you will see uh, the JRE system library now click here on this add external jar button and now you have to uh, look for the downloaded folder where you have placed your uh, selenium downloaded jar files so first we will select these two jar file and click open once you do that these two will be added right here now we will do the same process again for the lib the other jar files okay you can see all required jar files are added here now we can apply and close it once you do that you will see one node is appeared which will display all your jar files right here okay now we are ready to create one class file in which we will write some code for the automation and now in this notepad as I have told you we need chrome driver exe file to open a chrome browser inside the selenium so we need to download the chrome driver exe file this is the second step in this notepad so we will download it this is the link and uh, the same link given in the description of this video so you can get it there go to the new tab paste the link and then you will see this page chrome driver web driver for chrome basically this is uh, only for the chrome driver as I have told you earlier now you can see we have uh, these uh, four bullet points which is showing that these are the current release so what exactly you have to do you have to download the right version which is matching to your chrome browser okay so we have to find out the which chrome version we are using after that we will select and download the right chrome driver exe file okay to do that go to here at these this place click on these three dots and come here at this help click here on this about Google Chrome and then the settings page will appear in front of you and now you can see the exact version of the Chrome that you are using in my case I am using 88.0 so the relevant exe version that I have to download is 88 okay so in your case please check it and then come back at this tab and uh, select the right exe version for you so 
my version is 88 so I'm going to download the Chrome driver 88 okay just click on this link and this will redirect you to another location and here you can see some uh, files so there is no specific Chrome driver for 64-bit or 32-bit for Windows so we have to simply download this one underscore win32.zip click on it once to download this is not big file only 5.4 MB in size once this is downloaded we have to place it at a safest place because we need to give the path in the coding so make sure you are putting at this on a safe place so this chrome driver exe is downloaded now i will place it somewhere at the safest location so i have placed it here in a separate folder now i will extract it so i will find chrome driver dot exe file you can see we got it now we moving further first I will show you the notepad what we have done so we have done the downloading of Chrome driver exe file and I have already told you if you are not choosing the right version for the Chrome driver exe you will face some problem to launch the Chrome browser in Selenium so make sure you are choosing the right version of Chrome driver for your Selenium script. Now, final, we are ready to write simple code and then we run it. Now, I'm going back here in the Eclipse. So, put select the SRC and uh, go to the file menu. Now, come here at the new cl click class and now new class window will appear. So, please give the name of your choice. So, we have just given the name Selenium script as my class name and now I have just selected this checkbox to add a main method in this file within two three seconds uh, this will create a Java class file for you but uh, you will see only a main method is there but no code inside it we have to write simple code I will show you what is the uh, starting point so first if we are going to interact with the Chrome browser then we have to set the system property and then we have to set the Chrome driver exe file you can see at line number seven the exact thing we are doing here so we are calling the set property method of system class and then we passing this key uh, webdriver dot chrome dot driver and the path of that chrome driver dot exe file This is the important step, otherwise your Chrome browser will not open. And uh, the second argument is a string value, which is the path of the Chrome driver exe. So I need to update it. So I will uh, go in this folder. Here I have this chrome driver.exe file so I will copy the path to this folder and then I will come here and I will update it now it's done path is updated okay now at the line number nine we are getting one error because we have not done import of a web driver class so click on it so you will see that we are going to import the web driver class okay it's done another import is required chrome driver class okay so it's fine now now this is the statement to navigate a website driver dot navigate dot two and which is a simple string and uh, this is my website www.coolithelp.com so 
in the last statement we are visiting this website so a chrome browser will appear and this will open the given website so first i am taking a clean build of this project and then we will do a test run so in this way i have uh, doing a clean build i'm telling you because uh, if uh, you are absolute beginner then this also will create a problem so please follow each step one by one and then you will be ready to run your script okay here we go so once the program start this will display something inside the console and uh, suddenly the browser will appear in front of you and you will see this uh, is uh, redirected to the coolithelp.com the url we have given also you will notice that this uh, notification chrome is being controlled by the automated automated test software that means this browser window is uh, coming through the web driver so you can identify from among the other windows which chrome driver version you are running so this is the simple thing and uh, if you are not able to see this message chrome driver was not started successfully that means you have messed up uh, the chrome driver version and uh, your chrome browser version so please make sure you have downloaded the right chrome driver exe for your chrome browser okay if you are following everything as i have told you you can easily run this program so i will explain lot more things in upcoming second part of this tutorial series i hope to see you there if you guys found this video tutorial relevant and useful please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel and for now thanks for watching cool it help